let's move ahead to Mac Changer. Okay. Now, before we go into the tool called Mac Changer, let's just see what a MAC address is. Now, MAC address actually stands for Media Access Controller Address of a device and is a unique identifier assigned to a network interface controller for communication purposes. Now, MAC addresses are used as a network address for most IEEE A02 network technologies, including Ethernet, Wi Fi, and Bluetooth. Now, in this context, MAC addresses are used in the Media Access Control Protocol sublayer and as typically represented as MAC addresses are not recognizable as six groups of two hexadecimal digits each. Now, these are separated by a colon, and the first three hexadecimals are actually the organizationally unique identifier, so they actually represent your vendor, and the next three hexadecimals actually represent your network card uniquely. Okay, so when you are actually on a network, you are recognized on something called an ARP table. Let me just show you the ARP table, how you can see it. Let's go in. So the password is root. So an ARP table is basically an address resolution protocol table. And well, this is a virtual machine and it doesn't really know many machines on the local network. But if I were to go on my Windows system and show you my ARP table, let's see. Okay, so if I show you the ARP table of my Windows machine on any machine that has a TCP IP protocol suit installed, you will have this command that is working called ARP and you give the hyphen A. And now you see that your IP address or somebody else's IP address is actually mapped to a physical address. Now the MAC address is very commonly used in the ARP protocol. And this is how you are actually identified on a network. Now, sometimes what you want to do is be unknown on this network. There are various reasons why you want to do that. Let me just give you an example of a very malicious reason that was done in my college. So we as students would actually change the MAC address of our own computer to the professor's computer. So we would somehow look up the professor's IP address and then come to know about his MAC address. And then we would spoof our MAC to be his MAC address. And then we would do some type sort of malicious activity on the college internet. And then the internet administrators of our college would come to know that that MAC address is doing some sort of malicious activity. And that MAC address would get permanently banned for that session on the college network. So basically our professor would not be able to use the wireless projectors that he would use to actually show us his presentations. And we would end up getting a free class. Now, I am not actually promoting any sort of bad activity like this. I have just experienced this in my own college life, so that was something. But there are many other reasons that you might want to spoof your Mac. Now, Mac Changer is an amazing tool for actually spoofing your Mac. So first of all, how do you come to know your Mac address? So let's see, you go IF config, and this will give us our Mac address. Now, this address that you see out here is the Mac address of this machine. So you can also check out the MAC address by going MAC changer. Then let's type in the help options and this will show us how to get the MAC address. So if you see there's a show flag, so we can go MAC changer and you can put the S and then you put the interface. Now the interface is where it's working. So at zero is where we are actually getting. We don't want the loopback one. So at zero, and this will give us the MAC address. So our current MAC address is 080027. Let's see if that was the same one shown. Where is that MAC address? Okay, so Ether 080027. So I'm sorry, this was the MAC address. I selected the wrong thing. What I was showing you is the IPv6 address, and you can see that it's very, very long. So this is our MAC address. Now, what you might want to do to change your MAC address? Well, let's see. With V, we can get the version. With S, you can show. We can do the E. And as I said, if you remember that the first three bits is about the vendors, so you can also get the vendor list by going hyphen L. So you go hyphen L, and this will give you a list of uh, MAC addresses and which vendor they belong to. So sometimes if you know the vendors that are actually being used on the network of your college, for example, and you want to just stay anonymous and not raise any flags of suspicion. So you could hide yourself as a Cisco router. So suppose your college was using all sorts of Cisco routers and you decided that today I'm going to spoof myself as a Cisco router and I'm going to screw around with the network. So it would not raise any flags before you actually decided to do some malicious activity. In some deeper inspection of your MAC address, people would actually realize that you are actually spoofing the address. And after some investigation, they would indeed take some time to actually reach to you and how you spoofed it. But the point of changing your Mac is not raising any flags. And that is exactly what you should try to do. So Mac Changer is also very useful for getting the list of all the Mac addresses and their vendor IDs. Now, let me just clear the screen out quickly. So we go clear and 
let's bring back the help. So we go match changer and dash dash help. Now what we want to do is give ourselves a random MAC address. Now MAC changer. So that is done with the R flag and we want to do it on each zero. So once you run that, you will be given a new MAC address. So our new MAC address is F6 C6 49. Now you can verify that by running IF config. Now we could just do IF config and you see our new MAC address is on ether. So we could also do something like this IF config and you could grab ether. So that is telling you the MAC address and this is completely new. Also, you could show it through the Mac changer tool itself. Okay, so we need to give it the E0. I forgot that. Now you see that this is our current Mac address and this is our permanent Mac address, and they two are completely different. Sometimes you also might want to actually change your Mac when your laptop is or your system is booting up because you might want to stay anonymous all the time. Who knows? And sometimes you might think, I'll actually change it when I want to change it. But let's face it, we are forgetful as human beings and we tend to forget things that we are supposed to do. So what else is better than to actually automate the whole process yourself and forget about remembering all these stupid nitty gritty stuff. So you can tell Linux or Kali Linux to actually change your MAC address on boot up is use this tool called CronTab. Now CronTab is actually used for scheduling tasks on Linux. So let me show you how to do that. Firstly, let's clear our screen and go CronTab and go help. Now you see it's a pretty small menu. So first we start with the U flag, which user this file is going to work for. Then we got the E flag, which is for editing crontab users, the users crontab list. And you can see the list of users crontab. And let's see, so do we have any crontab list? So there is no crontab at this moment. So we can set up one for ourselves by going to the E. Then there's the R, which is delete users crontab. And I want to tell you all, be very careful when deleting anything of that sort, because once you delete something from Linux, as I've already said that it is very, very difficult to actually retrieve it back. You might get fragmented pieces of what you had actually deleted, and that will only leave you with sadness and devastation. Now, what you want to do is go through crontab and press E, and this will bring us to select an editor to change later run select editor. So we'll do it with nano. So what you have out here is the readme file of crontab. And if you read this entire thing, you will get how to use crontab completely. But if you have any sort of doubts, even after reading it, you can leave them down in the comment section below. Now, what you want to do is actually set up a crontab so that you can change your MAC address whenever you reboot your computer. So all you have to do is say at reboot, what you want it to run is Mac changer. And if you remember, we want a random Mac address and we want it on each zero. So that's done. Now all you have to do is save this thing. So you go control O and that will write it out to cron tab and you press enter and you have written down one line. Now you go control X and you have exited out. So now let's us clear the screens by pressing control L and enter and let's go ahead and get our Mac address. So if we go ahead and run that, our MAC address is set to F6, C649. So just remember the first few letters, F6, C6, and 49. Uh, now let me just reboot my computer, and you will see after I reboot and run ifconfig again with grep etho, we will see a different MAC address. Now rebooting might take some time because I'm actually using a virtual machine, but still now it's given problems with the Firefox, but let's hope this won't take much time. Okay, so now that our computer has booted up and we have actually opened up our terminal, let's go in and type ifconfig and let's get in our ether that is the MAC address. So if you remember the MAC address, now you see that it has completely changed and that's how you can spoof your MAC address on your local network. And this will basically help you in staying anonymous on our protocols and anything that actually maps your IP address to the MAC address. Okay, so that was all about MAC changer.